Hey friends, and welcome to Vervain's Arcadia. I'm Dee, I've been playing Minecraft for a little more than a year, and this is the first SMP I've been on. I love it here. Vervain's Arcadia is an over 18 vanilla server with a few data packs. My favorites are the Armor Statues plugin and the head database, which means we get many blocks from wandering traders. Today is my 25th episode on the server, and we're going to poke around and see the years of history here. Vervain's Arcadia is just over 3 years old and started in 1.16, so there's lots of fascinating things to find and explore. Right now, we are at the newest community space, our 1.20 outpost. We decided not to move away from our 1.18 and 19 spawn and shopping district, but just build this area out a little ways in a cherry grove, of course. The area is still very much under construction, but already has some really, really cool things going on, such as our armor trim library, and personal builds are starting to pop up around here, including my mega base straight north. Over this way is something I haven't seen in person yet. I am so obsessed with this mountaintop statue of Our Lady Azura. Skyrim was the first game I played on my own back in spring of 2022, and I had or this gorgeous statue that Hazza brought to the server. This is our current world spawn and has been since 1.18. There are tons of fantastic builds around this area, both communal, like our town hall kind of community hub build place. We also have the train station next door and then also includes a lot of personal builds in every, every possible direction. I love the different types of build builders that we have around. Like we have people who do a lot of organics, trees, statues, stuff like that. Like look at this stuff, it's so cool. I am absolutely in love with this statue. Oh my gosh, is it made out of coal? It's made out of coal. What the heck? Jeez. A lot of people who have joined the server recently, myself included, have actually kind of gone pretty far out as far as where we build our bases. We have a couple of travel hubs here, a uh, warp station point and also uh, our ice road station. But down in here, we actually have a fantastic place for new server members, uh, the community garden, which is just the absolute best. And over in here, we have things like armor or, yeah, beds, ender pearls, uh, obsidian sometimes, shields, all sorts of good things, places to cook things, respawn points to set, all the good things. Over here is one of my favorite builds on the server by our lovely pearl. It's just, it's gorgeous. And if we take the northern line of the rail station, we pass a lot of really cool builds. And eventually, we come to... Oh, that's problematic. Eventually, we come to the end palace. Oh dear, I went too far. No! I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know how far this goes. Ah, oh, there's a donkey on the track. Oh, thank goodness, sir. You saved me, to be honest. I'm, I'm so sorry, bud. If we just swing over Radifix's area, it's so cool. Look at, look at the gradient on that roof. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. No notes. All right, make sure we break our respawn point. But this is our end palace with, of course, a nice drop down into the stronghold itself. Uh, but also, our temporary trim library was here until very, very recently. In the end, we have, of course, an Ender Ender. The rest of the end dimension doesn't actually have all that much going on. There used to be a Wither Rose farm, but it is no longer functional, and that's about all that is out here. Uh, there are so many thousands of blocks covered and explored. And we've got my favorite spot in the end, the Wither Killing Chamber, which we'll be spending some time in soon, because I need a lot of nether stars. The nether roof has an extensively developed uh, hub system with ice roads and 
Uh, everybody's portals are up here. Lots of decorated portals. It's actually really fun to just kind of look around, fly around, and see what what different portals look like. This is our current shopping district, and we're just going to take a quick little stop into my very favorite shop. Uh, this shop uses a currency of memories. So they sell, you know, shulker boxes of things uh, and netherite ingots from time to time, though I don't think they're in stock currently. Those go really fast, but you can pay a large amount of diamonds or you can pay with a memory. There are some really lovely memories in here, like this one, watching the newborn foals I bred taking their first steps. It's just a fantastic little shop and I love it. There's tons and tons of really, really cool shops here. I may be personally slightly addicted to making shops. I love the, the interaction that they bring to the game. Now our 1.19.18.20 whatever area has kind of seen its way through several updates now. So there's a lot of years of work put into this area. But if we travel even farther back in time to the 1.17 area, we can we can find some really cool spots in here too. We've got a pretty clear date here, July 6th, 2021. And this area is kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Now up in here is the post office. Over here's a really cool shop made by the same person who has the memory shop in our current shopping district but it is a, a tarot shop. It's no longer functional, but basically you pay a diamond, you get a card, and then these books tell you like what they mean. Eraser really just has the coolest shop ideas. Now, all around this shopping district are lots of builds kind of crammed in here, and it gives a very like country cottagey kind of vibe. And I love it. This build is a particular favorite of mine. I don't know. I just really, really love it. It's gorgeous. This area is particularly fun to me because like as a person who's been playing only since 1.19, I haven't gotten the experience of having tons of new content. I've only gone through one update and I love like going backwards in time and seeing like when when blocks were new and how much everybody was using like copper and amethyst here or the nether trees in 1.16. Now here is an extra special spot. This is our 1.16 spawn, which is the world spawn. It's not as built up as the 1.17 spawn was, but we get a little uh, line of signs giving a greeting. Welcome to Arcadia, a land of great power and community. Long ago, the elders lived here in a close and small settlement. Then came famine and disease. The settlers parted ways to live alone. Now, most folk live in their own regions and meet in groups. Many live near the shopping district or far out in privacy. Now it's your turn to step into this grand world and find a home. And we've got the Founder's Fountain here. Back this way is a big old castle. Now this is something that happens with like historical sites. They eventually have vines placed on them and end up looking overgrown. So this is the first castle built by the original players. We've got a little shrine here um, in memoriam for one of the players. This is, this is the cool thing that I'm really enjoying about being on an SMP, especially an SMP that's been around for this long, is there's, there's people who are never coming back for one reason or another, but they've left a mark here, they've built things, they've left silly little inside jokes and traditions and Easter eggs around the server, and now I get to be part of that. And that's just pretty cool. This build behind me is absolutely crazy, but in here, we have the Great Arcadia Library. And it's just really neat, and I like it. It is also a villager trading hall. I think just librarians. I am a library person. I adore libraries. 
So this makes my heart so very happy. Now let's pop through this portal. Or not. Never mind. Never mind. We have a plugin that allows us to make portals of any shape or size and also use Crying Obsidian, which I think is just an excellent plugin. But this is the other side. This is the Nether Hub for 1.16, the original. All right, and this is the shopping district area. Now, uh, this server is like Hermitcraft inspired and there's lots of Hermitcraft fans on the server, which means sometimes you get shenanigans such as the button. And this is the 1.16 shopping district. It is in a mushroom fields biome, but I think, I'm pretty sure it's actually connected to land, which is pretty cool. Yeah, see, it joins up to other biomes and larger land masses over here. What the? What's? Oh my gosh, is that a llama in a minecart? Oh my goodness. Now, I've been here before briefly. Ooh, oh, I think that's an ice boat course. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, huh? I'm terrible at this if you can't tell. Okay, not too bad then. It's interesting, there's some definite like, uh, early Minecraft skills that like, were more popular or some something like that when, like in earlier days of Minecraft, that I just don't have like, you know, ice boats. Now I heard tell of a terracotta shop that has a note block song and considering all the time I spent on my own note block song I want to see what others have done perfect eatery oh this shop was closed and I don't think you can get in is this a cat cafe oh my gosh Ooh, terracotta and end rods is this the place with the the note block song nothing up here but very cool oh there's a button ah there it is Very cool. I love, maybe this is just my, you know, classical musician's brain, but I love that the end rods kind of look a little bit like a pipe organ, at least to me, up there, and then they have a little note block song. Excellent. Now if we fly through some elytra loops, I think, Ooh. yeah, so this is where we spent more of our time on the tour is this little mini games area. For example, a bouncy house. All right. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's crazy. You can get some height on this thing. Ow. Okay. <laughs> I am a child. Oh, an ender pearl challenge. Well, I do need ender pearl practice. See the earlier point about I don't have skills that people who played Minecraft in the earlier days have. I get the feeling that I'm not going to... Oh my gosh! Did you guys see that? Maybe, maybe this is more intuitive than I thought? Or not. I've used ender pearls so little that I think I've only spawned one endermite in my over a year of playtime. Need the practice, let's see. I got it the first time. Will that luck hold? No. No, it will not. Ow. No! Jeez. Ouch. No! <laughs> Dang it. <gasps> I made it! Alright, I have one left. Oh, I don't have my normal stack of ender pearls in my inventory. See, I do keep them in my inventory just in case I get, like, stuck in a tight spot and need to ender pearl out, but like I use them so rarely. Okay. Let's try it. Mm, that's not gonna make it. Nope. <laughs> Overshot. 
Oh no, it was so close. What? <laughs> oh, that's an Endermite. Oh, did it drop ahead? Did not drop ahead. Sag. Guys, I did it! I made it! Look at me! Look at me go! Now I'm just going to maybe, uh, keep that run in and tell you that was my first time and I definitely didn't go through over two stacks of vendor pearls to get here. Now these two spots are pretty cool. This one is a big ol' horse track. Let's see. This is, this is the racetrack. A <laughs> turtle! Oh, this is cute! And off we go again. Ah! I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, you have to be careful to not get your head stuck in things or walk him over the camp. Oh, dear. Oh, I don't... Ah! Buddy, I'm so sorry. All right, buddy. And then, over here... This is a really, really cool spot. It's a PvP arena. Um, and it... It's settable to like so many different variables. You can change your team size, you can change what weapons you're using and what armor you're using and if they're enchanted and all those kinds of things. You can give yourself extra supplies. This is the gearing station. It's just it's so cool. Um, if you look up from above, it's got this really big glass dome and it's fantastic. Um, but the walls, you can change up the walls. I think they said there's even a setting where you can randomize the walls. We we need to revive this. Like, someone want to do PvP with me? I As I understand it, I don't think the redstone works. But, like, I've, I've never done any PvP stuff because it's just not a thing that happens on the server anymore. So, excellent work. 10 out of 10. Let's bring it back. Goodness, it was popular to put sweet berries around everywhere. What is with this? Now, of course, it's spooky season, which means we absolutely can't be doing a server tour and explore without stopping by the uh, Halloween competition, build competition from last year. I believe this is it. Yep. 2022 Halloween build competition. Winners, Wolfie and Bobby. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, this is Wolfie's build. Well, that makes sense that this one. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Ooh, a creepy cemetery. Yes. Myers Mausoleum. Enter at own risk. Oh god. Oh my goodness. That's that's incredible. Is Michael Myers from, you know, this this movie or whatever? I not really into spooky scary stuff despite the uh, witchy theming. So, I don't really know. Ooh, is this is this a view from above? It is a view from above thing. That's really cool. It's back here. Was oh, this a weeping angel? Oh my gosh. I think it's a weeping angel. Don't blink. Ah, by Sally. Of course. Please turn your note block sounds up. Um, okay. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. I'm gonna push the button again. All right. It's official. That's my favorite build. Sometimes you dig the wrong hole. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh Hope oh why. People are so creative and I love seeing what everybody comes up with. So what was your favorite thing that we saw today on the server? If you are a member of the server, let me know if I missed any of your favorite spots and if there's anything I should go looking for. And hey, if you're not on the server, 
do you play Minecraft? How long have you played Minecraft? It's interesting to me to hear like the experiences of people who've been playing it for a long time versus people like me who've only been playing for a little while. And I love hearing all those things. Anyways, I'm gonna head off into the sunset. Is the sun setting? It is setting, yay! Perfect. And I will catch you all next time.